Ulcerative colitis is a chronic idiopathic remitting and relapsing inflammatory bowel disease. Unlike the Crohn's disease, the ulcerative colitis usually starts in the rectum and it is associated with continuous progress to the more proximal parts of the colon. It only affects the colon and other parts of the gastrointestinal tract are not involved. And here we have the part of the colon affected by the ulcerative colitis. The inflammation is typically superficial and it affects only mucosa. The deeper structures are spared. Here we have the ulcerations and uh, the partially affected mucosa in between the ulcerations. Uh, ulcerations create uh, inflammatory pseudopolyps. On higher magnification, we can see the typical distortion of the architecture of the crypts, uh, which is a sign of uh, chronicity of the inflammation. The normal colonic crypts resemble test tubes. They are regular and they go all the way from the surface to the lamina muscularis mucosae. And this is not the case here. We can see really irregular crypts. The lumen of the crypt on the cut surface can look like continents or animals it is basically irregular uh, here we can see the crypt drop out or atrophy of the crypt the lamina propria of the mucosa is infiltrated by the lymphocytes and plasma cells the typical for ibd is basal lymphoplasmocytosis where the crypts uh, do not reach the muscularis mucosae and uh, in the basal part of the lamina propria, we can find a lot of lymphocytes and plasma cells. The neutrophilic infiltration marks the, the activity of the inflammatory process. So here we have the neutrophils inside of the crypt. And this is called the crypt abscess. Another crypt abscess is here. In this part of the slide, we can see ulceration with the superficial poor length fibrinous exudate with fibrin and neutrophils. Uh, the inflammation is limited to the super superficial portion um, of the colon. Uh, deeper parts as submucosa muscularis propria and subserosa should be without inflammation. The correlation of the histological findings with endoscopic and clinical uh, features are always important. And sometimes it could be quite difficult to differentiate ulcerative colitis from the Crohn's disease. And in these cases, we can use the term indeterminate colitis. So what are the main differences between ulcerative colitis and the Crohn's disease? Uh, well, ulcerative colitis is a superficial inflammation. It affects only colon. It starts in the rectum and progresses uh, to the proximal parts. However, the Crohn's disease uh, typically involves terminal ileum, but it can involve any part of the gastrointestinal tract. The Crohn dis Crohn's disease is associated with skip lesions where part of the gastrointestinal tract uh, are affected and parts, parts are without inflammation. In case of ulcerative colitis, we do not typically see fissures and fistules because the inflammation is only superficial. Thanks for watching.